This is Oklahoma's own News 9. Well, the Myriad Botanical Gardens is celebrating next weekend with their annual Children's Garden Festival. Now, joining us, we have Miss Leslie and Eric. Thank you for being out here, of especially course. this early. Love now, it. tell me, what do we have going on this next weekend? Well, we have every uh, June, we have a Children's Garden Festival that's themed after a children's book. So this year we're going with art We've books. We've got all of our little art books out uh -huh. as I knock them all down. So, <laughs> <laughs> You're good. So Friday we kick off uh, yeah, a 10-day festival um, in our children's garden area where a thunder fountain is and the carousel. It's quite enchanting. And we make vignettes that theme after these books. And Eric is putting together all those uh, yes. Things. So tell me, what should kids be expecting? What should parents be expecting? Well, first, here's the design. It's called A is for Art and we're super excited. Kids are to be expected, it's like, a, <clears throat> like an art festival for children. You know, a lot of fun, interactive moments. We have classes, we have exhibits, we have really fun stuff that's interactive and kids get activities. We divided it between these four amazing books that focus on art uh, with crayons and paintbrushes. It's just the idea of inviting a lot of art into the children's garden, so they're getting a little bit of like flowers and and greenery and horticulture mixed with art and pencils and paper and all this stuff so they can be very interactive at the same time as getting a wide view of how we've taken these four books and put it through our our, our portal to like really express how each one is awesome in their own way. Something every parent wants their children to be interacted with. Yes. What are the best ages for kids that would be coming out there? I think this is more like younger audiences, like littler kids that are just learning kind of more tactile, like with drawing or coloring or painting. But I feel like anybody could really enjoy this, especially because all these books are different from each other. We have Harold and the Purple Crayon, which is one of our oldest books of the four that a lot of maybe an older generation knows. All the up to The Day the Crayons Quit, which is a huge hit. Aaron Slater Illustrator, which really is amazing, focuses on an African-American boy who has dyslexia. And then we also have The Dot, which is just trying to talk about creating activities and like just getting, like the whole point of the book is to, if you don't feel creative, just start with The Dot. And that will kind of take you to the next level, that we all have something creative to give. So I feel like that's really what the focus of this festival is. And I really want to, I want to touch on this really quickly. We're wrapping up. You have a sensory night coming up. Why is that yes. important? Uh, that's important to us because we do want to provide opportunities for all different kinds of kids with all different kinds of abilities. So we really want to make sure that we provide a moment where we turn everything down and really focus on the kids that have sensory issues so that they can enjoy this just as much as everybody else well, can. Leslie, Eric, thank you for joining us today.